All right, we're here talking about finding the noun. This is the first video in a series of three videos about nouns, and this video is dealing with just the most simple part of it, finding the noun. And as you can see from the definition on the screen, a noun is a word or word group. And so, yes, there is something called a word phrase, a noun phrase, and we will get to that in a later video. Uh, and it can be used to name a person, place, thing, or an idea. And what you have to think about when you're thinking of a noun is noun actually comes from the Latin nomen, which means to name. And that is what a noun is doing. This thing exists, and a noun is naming it. It names a person. It names a place. It names a thing. Or obviously, it names an idea. And so it can either be concrete. It can be abstract. It can be uh, plural. It can be singular. It can be a variety of things. But what this video is looking at is how to find them. And it's a series of strategies. So let's see here. And there are about five different strategies uh, of using to find a noun in a sentence. Now, you won't be able to use all five for any given noun. Sometimes a noun may work with more than one. These are just simply guidelines uh, to help you find a noun, strategies, if you will. Uh, the first one, and probably the easiest one, is beginning with a capital letter. These are proper nouns. Um, the second one, an ad adjective or an article modifies it, and we will show examples of those. It names something specific. Now, this is essentially what a noun does, a uh, person, place, thing, or idea. And you would think it would be the easiest one, the first thing, but it's not. It, it actually can be quite tricky to figure out what is being named in this case, or in cases. Four, it is the object of a phrase. And I'll talk about phrases when we get to that point. And it is the subject of a sentence or a clause. And a clause is simply, simply something with one idea, a complete thought. So let's look at a couple examples here. So <clears throat> beginning with a capital letter, meaning it is a proper noun. Um, so we have, in this sentence, we have, I'll just switch red a little easier to see. Uh, Rebecca Mott was a great patriot. Well, capital, capital. Now, obviously, you might say, well, this is capitalized because it's the beginning of the sentence, but it is someone's name. So that makes it a proper noun. So this whole thing, noun, right? Uh, let's look at this next sentence. We have during Revolutionary War, British South Carolina. During the Revolutionary War, British soldiers seized her mansion in South Carolina. We have several capital letters. We can look at this first one. Is during a noun? It's not. Uh, and it's just there's, it doesn't name a person, place, thing, or idea. Revolutionary uh, is an adjective, but in this case, this is the entire title, the Revolutionary War, making this a noun. However, in this case, British soldiers, British is a proper noun, and so I mean a proper adjective, so it is not considered to be a noun. Soldiers is a noun in this case. Um, South Carolina, that's the name of a state, so that is definitely a noun. Now, I know what you might be saying, but wait a minute, soldiers is a noun. Yes, I know, but I'm only going through with this particular strategy. General Harry Lee told Mott the Americans would have to burn her home to smoke out the enemy. So we have General Harry Lee Mott Americans. All right, so let's go with the easiest ones first. American, clearly a noun. It's naming a group of people. That's a noun. Um, Mott, that's someone's name, noun. Uh, Harry Lee, that is someone's name, a noun. Well, now we have general. General Harry Lee, right? Now, general is a title, and uh, and it it works as one large noun for General Harry Lee. That is his title, so that would also be included in the name General Harry Lee. That's a noun, one big noun. All right, let's look at another one. An article or adjective modifies it. Now, an article, articles. There's three articles. It's a, an, the either. The. And so a and the. They are just very simple adjectives. They are going to be modifying nouns. And of course, our, our adjectives always modify nouns. And so you might have a string of adjectives, and they're always going to be modifying that one noun. The bright red car. Bright red are both modifying car as well as the. All right, so let's look for the articles in this sentence. The. 
And that's it in this sentence. So what is this modifying? The is modifying plan. We know that plan is a noun. Any other adjectives? They're not. So for purposes of discussion, that's the noun we're looking for. Let's look at this next one. It's applied a, the. So we have a, bow, bow, making that a noun, and the, attack, making that a noun. Now we also have flaming. Flaming is an adjective modifying arrows, noun. So we have two nouns, I mean three nouns identified simply because there's an article, an adjective modifying it. Let's look at the next one. The, the, the. All right. So let's look at that first. The what? The house. That's a noun. The what? The enemy. Noun. The what? Flag. Noun. Now to add any sort of more credibility to this, we have white is also an adjective, also modifying noun. Any other nouns, and, I mean, other adjectives in this sentence? There are not. So that was, those are the nouns that have adjectives or articles modifying them. All right, it names something specific. Now, as you saw, it's nice to have sort of like a little signifier pointing it out. Naming something specific is often a little trickier because you kind of have to figure out, is it naming something? So let's go through it. Other people might not have been so generous or patriotic. So we have people, that's naming a group of individuals, so we know that's a noun might not have been, that is all one long verb phrase, so generous or patriotic. These are both adjectives, so the only thing that's naming something specific is that noun. Let's look again. Afterwards, Mott invited soldiers from both sides to dinner. So we have, again, the capital, but this is someone's name. It's uh, a noun naming a specific person. Soldiers is a specific group of people. That is supposed to be a noun, by, I mean, in, by the way. Um, have to correct. And then we have uh, sides is something specific telling you uh, what side of the war you're on, specific, and dinner. That is a specific meal. So specific things. Now as you can see it would be nice to just go with capital letters. It's often easier, but again we're doing something, naming something specific. Um, laughter. How their laughter must have filled the air. We have laughter, that's a noun because that is a specific sound. It's naming a sound. Um, and then through the rest, have must have filled, it's all one phrase, but there's not a noun in it, air. Air is a specific setting, if you will, specific gas, uh, but it is something specific. All right, obviously I, it's much easier to say, well, that the is modifying it, but for purposes of discussion. Okay, it is the object of a phrase. Now a phrase is any group of words um, that is going to either contain a noun or not. And if it doesn't contain a noun, it's going to usually be a verb phrase. If it contains a noun, the noun is going to be the object of that phrase. So usually noun phrases with nouns in them are going to be prepositional phrases, usually. And the prepositional the preposition is what's setting off that phrase. So let's look for prepositions. We have that painting is in a famous museum. In, in what? In museum. Now, if you needed any more support for museum being a noun, you have a, uh, an article there, and famous, an adjective, both modifying museum. Let's look at this next one. The police officer cheerfully directed us to the building on that street. So we have to, preposition, on, preposition, what is on what? On the street, to what? To the building, right? So that makes this a noun, that makes this a noun. Right, now there are other nouns in the sentence, I know that, but I'm looking for ones that are objects of phrases. My relatives, who are originally from a small town, now live in a large city. So let's go through this, originally from, prepositional fra preposition, uh, in. So we have in is modifying city, that does, that's supposed to be city there, uh, and from is modifying town, noun, noun. Okay, now obviously uh and large are both modifying city, uh and small are both modifying town if you wanted, you know, any other support. 
All right, and of course, my is a possessive adjective modifying relatives. Okay, it is the subject of a sentence or a clause. By being the subject, it is what in the sentence is doing the action or performing the action of the sentence. So let's look at this. The librarian asked my classmate to return the book as soon as possible. All right, who is doing the asking? The librarian is doing the asking. Right, so that makes it the noun. That newspaper is published daily. This magazine is published weekly. So what is being published? The newspaper is the thing that's performing the action. Therefore, it is the noun. The magazine is published weekly. The magazine is the thing that's performing the action. It is also a noun. The girl read a poem for the teacher. Who is performing the action? The girl is performing the action. Therefore, she is the noun. Now, I know there are other nouns in these sentences. That's beside the point. Okay, so quick recap. You have these five different guidelines, and each guideline works well with a few nouns in the sentence, but it's rare that you get one guideline that works for all of them. So the, the guide here is just commit these things to memory, and as you're covering going over a sentence or a passage, just keep them in mind and say, okay, let me search for all the articles first, or let me search for all the capital letters first, and then all the, all the adjectives, and then all the phrases, and then all the subjects, and then, then maybe and then all the specific things. And you will have certainly found all the nouns in either a sentence or a passage.